Hi, I'm Judith Monroe, and this is my studio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use colored pencils in my mixed media artworks. In the last video, I showed you how I transferred all of these photographs onto these panels. And now you can see when the image is completely dry, um, it's transparent wherever there was white, and we get to see what's going on behind um, the image. This is where that collage comes into play. And um, something I've done a little bit different is this is uh, one of the first times I have not completely desaturated the images in the past um, and what that means is um, I've left some color in them in the past I uh, used completely black and white images converted them completely to black and white before I transferred and I've decided um, to partially desaturate and um, I'm gonna build on the color that's here so um, the first way that I'm going to build on the color is these are my colored pencils. You can see um, I have one or two of them. And I'm going to show you a little bit of how I do this work. But um, as you might imagine, taking colored pencils to all of these things is going to take a little bit of time. So here I have my light set up and uh, here's one of my pencils. And one of the first things that I'm going to do in this particular piece is I'm going to fix a little bit of um, the flaws that are inherent in a photo transfer. So I'll get these seams sometimes and sometimes they're okay. And other times they are less okay. So I'm just going to do a little bit to kind of minimize. You can see It does, it's not perfect and that's not the plan, but it's just so that it's not something that's going to quite pull your eye so much. And uh, a little bit like this is a bit distracting. And I, I don't want these things to be kind of taking over. Which little bright spots have a way of doing that. So just now there's less of a line to be seen. You can kind of see how that's working. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, in old school terms, this portion is a lot like spotting a print. So for old um, style, though we still do it, um, darkroom prints when there's a little tiny speck of dust on the negative and there's little white spots um, after the print is made we will use some inks dyes and take away those little dots so i'm going to do this kind of thing for a little while you can see it needs it down here and i'm not done up here but this is just the first thing that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so you can see I've um, done a little bit where the, the big white lines aren't quite so distracting. I came in with um, a couple of more different colored pencils and just kind of matched the tones, not to make it disappear, not to make the flaws disappear, but just to help them be a little bit more subtle. And now the next thing I'm going to do, this is a purple, 
pencil, one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of um, kind of punch, I guess. Um, and I'm adding some color, but I'm also adding some contrast. You can kind of see how it's working here. So this is the idea. And I love this Nautilus. I just, oh my gosh, it's like magical. This kind of color is a little bit uh, subtle and can be kind of hard to see uh, on film like this. But I'm going to see if I can show you another example um, and a little yellow. So I'll do the same kind of thing to some of the highlights. There you can kind of see. And just kind of add again a little bit of warmth. And this is kind of how I look at color and see color. Those deep purples and blues in shadows and warm tones like yellows in highlights and so I'll kind of come and work some yellows into the highlights. And I'm not going to go crazy with the color here because it's Nautilus and I, I don't feel like crazy color. Um, I'll probably come over here like I came and hit purple in here and um, do some yellows and these highlights. And maybe in the eggs too. Probably. Well, we'll see. I might go a little more subtle in the eggs. But all of the adding color to these pieces is going to be um, adding bits and pieces in layers and building it up until it feels right. You can kind of see how. Just sort of brings it to life a little bit more. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I might want to keep these not do it in this bright part here, but just kind of add a little. Okay. So if I had something that had, you know, like leaves, I might come and hit with a bit of green, but this is going to be not too, um, yeah, it's not too bright of a subject anyway. Everything is going to get its own, 
treatment. But this is kind of the idea. Times the whole table. Which isn't too bad. Here's a pretty good example of where I've added a whole lot more color with pencils. Been working for a little bit here. These are the pencils I've been using in this and you can kind of see those colors in there. And so now I'm just going to do a similar thing to this here. Try to make sure my light's not too much in the way. And um, we'll try a little time lapse. I'm just going to keep working on these pieces and I will post more when I'm on like subscribe and comment thanks